So hi, hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and uh, in today's video we are going to look at how you can uh, successfully train the, the or your neural network and optimize it or optimize its weights accordingly or the or correctly in this case. So in, uh, to get started we had already created this uh, our neural network file in this case on our previous video so we had what we had ja done is uh, maybe i can just go back we had created or we just took time to create this expert advisor the in this case now the neural network expert advisor with just a few lines of code maybe less than 200 lines of code we created a neural network which we were using it or we used it to place buy or sell trades however in this video we are just going to concentrate more on how to optimize it so we will not be basing more efforts on our meta editor over here or mql5 but in this time now on the mt5 in this case so i'm going to show you how you can train your neural network and up the correct values in this case so let me just go back over here now back to the trading terminal and uh, as, you, as you can see over here i have the our new neural network selected already in this case so what i'm going to do i'm just going to overview then you can just go to the maybe you want you just want to optimize or to train in this case so just go to complete optimization then selecting your your file in this case then prov pro providing the symbol providing the time frame just uh, it can be as you deem fit in this case then the custom period that is not the the date which now provides the date from the beginning of the of the year so the longer the period that uh, you put in here the less the occurrence of uh, curve filling or fitting and the, now the better the results so providing a longer period however uh, uh, a, con a consistent or a significant period in this case so in my case I have already from the start of the year, this year 2023 in my case, up to the current date in this case. However, today I will just take it up to a day less from today in this case. So today is on maybe basically, yeah, today is on date 12, but I do not want it to be on day 12. I just want it to be a week before this, uh, this day in this case. So from here, we now want to to take uh, maybe the 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 execution maybe here the forward you, you do not need to forward just let it be maybe okay okay the forward over here if i were just not to jump it the the forward if you were to choose the forward of half and uh, more in this case or whichever the custom that you want to have it there allows you to assess how longer your expert advisor can generate the the obtained results until the next optimization in this case however we do not want to do this one right now so i will just have it set to default however the most critical and crucial part over here now is a uh, year the delays in this case the delays you just want to set your delays to just zero latency in this case just ideal execution not any other one millisecond or whichever or which or whichever the the ping that you want to use over here so the delays let us let let them let us have them as just zero or the default one in this case then from here we now go to the to the how do how do i call it the execution now which is now on the on the modeling section over there the execution so normal and uh, opening prices only as uh, maybe i can expand it the normal opening prices only in this case is now the which is not the normal execution however there is no point in testing in just in in a, each and every tick mode since our expert advisor will only allow it will just uh, on our neural network as we had defined it or if we were to just go on the inputs we have 
just uh, 10 inputs over here. So there is no need to just test it on each and every tick in a, in a, in a, <laughs> what do I call it? In this case, it just takes the 10 last values of the RSI indicator and then maybe, yeah, we do not need to, maybe you can just have it, however, to get the more accurate results, have it on each and every tick in this case. So, however, if you take like a one minute I low, uh, I open I low, close values and open prices only, it just calculates it on, on each and every, on the each and every close, just respectively. I think this section is just self-explanatory in uh, that case, just there execution of that trade then from here we can i mean we can just have the each and every take for you to have a uh, more super accurate results so your optimization is done on each and every take so however if you choose on each and every take your optimization over here will just take more more time to to be finished in this case then we can have now the the deposit, the the leverage, this you can have them as you deem fit also in this case. Then we can have the slow algorithm, the optimization section over here. This is not the most crucial one in this case. So the optimization can be can be set to run using the slow complete algorithm in this case, which is now the the most the which will now give the better results in this case. However, if you use the if I were to just expand this one, if you use the first generic optimization, in this case, eh, if you use the first generic optimization, you will over, it will just over give you faster results, which comes in particularly handy when maybe assessing an algorithm in this case. So if the result is satisfying, you can now try using the, the slow complete algorithm for more satisfying and accurate results. So the balance maximum, I mean, there is a other section over here. You can just uh, have it as you deem also. However, I would like you to have it on the, as the default one in this case. So from here now, we can just, maybe I can just go over here and show you what this one means. So, so the slow complete algorithm, if we were to start it, no, before we start, it will just give us an error if we start it at this point. So if we start it, it does not even start because we have nothing literally selected in this case. So it is earlier on uh, and we do not get any results. So we just need to just go on our inputs over here, then select the inputs that you want to optimize in this case so if you choose that one a starting value of 0 0.5 and then an ending value of 0 of 5 in this case we do not want a 5 the maximum point that we can get here is 1 in this case so we do not want that one then the minimum value that we have here is negative 0 0.5 in that manner so right now we have for the, we have i mean that one items if we were to go at a step of 0 0.05 in this case then if we check weight number two that we want to add to our neural network if we start at maybe again negative negative let's say one to um, the, our maximum of uh, one again we get 41 values and in this case i would like it to be negative one because that is not the maximum or i mean the minimum value so if you take 41 times 41 this is how many the it will it just gives you the total number of iterations that we will have over here so we'll have 1641 iterations so if you were to do the same for weight one weight two weight three i mean six seven eight and nine yeah and uh, nine over there you can see how many number of iterations that we will have in this case so if we were to start this one you can see we'll just it will just be taking too much long in this case so let me just i want to see the the position or the point where it shows us the the this the time i just want 
for us now to see the time in this case. So let me just start it again and see the expected time that we get for this initialization or the optimization to end in this case. Why is it not showing? Or let me just go back. It should be showing the time. So, okay, the time is here. So, we will just take an approximate or an approximation of just nine hours in this case. And as you can see, we are at iteration number 12 right now. So, seven to nine hours. So, you can see the number of times, the time in this case, approximately nine hours in this case. So we do not want that. Maybe you can now uh, maybe incorporate the first generic, uh, genetic based algorithm, then start it again. And me, we should be getting the time somewhere. Mm -hmm. The time should be displaying somewhere. However, you can see now it is starting at uh, around eight hours in this case, and we do not want the all eight hours however it is jumping around because of the iterations that it has to make decisions on so you can see there is quite a lot of time in this case so just choose the this value will just get down with time however we do not want to cut the optimizations right now in this case so i'll just stop that one and then go back so right now you can see that the if i were to go ahead i think this is now the best results that we have however we, we have not let, yet waited to to have complete results we we have this kind of results in this case so you can see wow we, didn't, we did not want anything to deal with the anything more than one a weight of one however <laughs> that is our default or my my bad in this case so from here now you can just choose the inputs over here, then iterate over the number of uh, inputs that you want. So basically that is all that you want. So in this case, I'll just have it as the default. You cannot go back to the defaults, okay. So from here, that is just basically now the correct uh, optimization settings that you want to, to input for your EA or neural, neural network or any other expert advisor to train and then get the optimized uh, results in this case. So that is all. Bye bye and uh, nice trades till then or till the next video. So thank you.